and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. He's been so disruptive defensively in the first half. His fast hands pick plenty of pockets. Well, if you want to get into your offense quickly before the defense can set up, creating turnovers is a great way to do it. So on the floor for Utah, Sexton runs point with Clarkson at the two. Collins and Kessler playing up front. And it's Markkinen in at the three. Moran against Sexton. Pass to Markkinen. Collins outside. And here's Clarkson. Jacks up a three. And it's Bain with the rebound. Some players just have an innate knack for scoring the ball, Grant. Jordan Clarkson, definitely one of them. Man, absolutely, B.A. That jump shot has to be honored. And because of that, he's able to get inside and create for himself and others. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other. And it translates. Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Allie, thank you. You rarely see Smart operate in the mid-range, but he just takes what the defense gives him on that possession. Collins with a screen on Moran. Sexton passes to Collins. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got six rebounds here tonight. Smart outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Pass to Collins. Outside for Sexton. Marking it outside. Takes a three. Hits a three-pointer. Markkinen's got nine. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Moran against Sexton. Jackson with a screen on Sexton. Here's Moran. Whoa! John dropping the hammer. Now you see him. Now you don't. There's only a few players that are faster with the ball than Ja Morant. Utah trailing here. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Outside Sexton. Clarkson outside. Over Smart. And it's Clarkson missing. The Grizzlies have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Moran, pass to Smart. Good, and the setup by Moran. Moran's got four assists in the game. Wow, defensively, for some reason, they've come out flat here in the second half. Bain against Markkinen. And here's what the Utah Jazz schedule looks like. On Wednesday, they'll kick off a homestand, starting with the Sacramento Kings. And then on Friday, they'll be facing Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. And here's Morant. 21 points in the game. Adams finds Morant. Here's Bain. Fires from deep. It doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Markkinen. Clarkson against Smart. The Jazz again can't hit. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Sexton against Moran. And then Moran with the dunk. Okay, check out the handles of John ja Moran. Wow, what a crafty player. Outside Sexton. Collins with a screen on Smart. Clarkson. Oh, he's finally able to knock one down. Clarkson's got 11. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Smart passes to Bain. Adams with a screen on Markkinen. Pass to Moran. Moran drawing the double team. Now Adams. Here's an eight-footer. 
The rebound by the Jazz. Kessler's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Morant, the pass to Bain. The quick look, no good that time. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for the Utah Jazz. Clarkson with the ball. 11 points in the game. Over Smart. And it's Clarkson missing. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Jackson, the screen. Moran against Sexton. And again, Memphis no good. Utah's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Marking it outside. Sexton, a screen on Jackson. Here's Markkinen, and counted from 12 feet. 11 points in the game. And very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays, but that's been their preferred way of finding points. Moran against Sexton. Outside Bay. Pass to Smart. Here's Moran. And he lays it up and in. Morant's got eight points here in the quarter. Don't look now. John Morant is on one. Feels like everything is falling. Markkinen with it. Now Collins. Back to Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stuff. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And Smitty, when it comes to John Collins, what do you like about this guy? What I love, Grant, he's a team guy. He'll play the four, he'll play the five. He'll do whatever is necessary so his team can win. Tillman's checked in for Memphis. Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Olenek's checked in for Utah. Gordon Tucker comes in for Markkinen. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Here's Moran. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Taylor Horton Tucker. John Morant puts so much pressure on your defense. Forces them to foul him. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Memphis. Their defense. It's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition. Just jumping all time over out, the opposition out. in this regard. And Utah calls time Sorry. here. Okay, let's fire up the 2K leaderboard. Last year, you really had to protect the ball against these teams. In the third spot, the Grizzlies. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Knocked loose. Clarkson up top, guarded by Bain. And that one's good, Clarkson. Clarkson's got 13 now. Tough points from Clarkson. He can make the hard buckets. Sexton against Moran with the drive. Here's Tillman. Pass to Bain. Here's Tillman. Kicks it out to Bain. 4-3. Drains the triple. He's got his third bucket of the night. Making use of these corner spots. Bain is especially dangerous from this area. Here's Clarkson. It's hauled in by John Moran. Moran's got six rebounds now in the game. Kicks it out to Clark. Moran against Sexton. Clark with a screen on Sexton. A shot from the high post. And it's Morant missing. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Sexton finds Clarkson. Olenek with a screen on Bain. Buries it from three. He's got 16. It's enough to where you have to respect him. 
Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. Clark with the screen. Here's Moran. Kicks it out to Bain. Pass to Moran. Now here's Clark. Clock at six. Bain, the pass to Clark. Now smart. From deep, Moran. Moran buries the three with the D right on him. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Now here's Sexton. 14 points for him. Kessler with a bucket. Kessler's got his second basket on the night. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Moran with it. Picked up by Sexton. Oh, Moran attacking and finishing. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Utah's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Outside Sexton. Clarkson outside. Nifty move. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Tillman's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Inside, Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. As the point guard, this is Jaws' responsibility. Nice job finding the open man. Outside, Horton Tucker. It's stolen by Smart. Oh, there's the alley. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Now Sexton. Outside Horton Tucker. Olenek with a screen on Clark. It's Horton Tucker with a drive. Using the pick to perfection. That's a well school play by Horton Tucker. Sexton against Moran. Pass to Clark. And another miss by Memphis. Utah trailing here. Horton Tucker. The pass to Kessler. And here's Clarkson. Over Bain. Here's Kessler. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Kessler's got four points this quarter. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Clark with a screen on Sexton. And here's Moran outside. Utah with the rebound. Outside Horton Tucker. Over Smart. Pass to Kessler. Back to Horton Tucker. And it's Tillman with a rebound. And Memphis shooting only 39% so far in the game. Clark finds Bain. And he bangs it home with one hand. Desmond Bain using that power to throw it down. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Now here's Kessler. Not a lot of room. Out of bounds, it'll be Grizzlies ball. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. Kennard comes in for Desmond Bain. And it's Derrick Rose in for Smart. Now here's Moran, defended by Horton Tucker. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. I'll tell you what, Ja Moran just keeps coming at the defense. At the line for Memphis. The free throw drops for Moran. And Moran drops them both. Here's Horton Tucker. Give him eight. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Outside Olenek. Back to Horton Tucker. Here's Abaji. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. Good on the second one. And he can't make it three for three. 
And here's Moran. Give him 35. There's the screen. Kennard outside. Puts up a three. No luck on that one. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Grizzlies up six. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Teams locked in a very close contest. This fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And so it's Utah with it. Six point game. Derrick Rose is out there with Luke Kennard. Then it's Jaron Jackson. Then it's John Conchar. And it's Tillman in at the center position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Kennard can't get it to go. The Jazz shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Nabaji sinks that one from the post. The assist, Kelly Olenek. Rose with it. Tillman with a screen. Pass to Kennard. Back to Rose. Six on the shot clock. Here's Jackson. Kicks it out to Kennard. Let's the three fly. Fires in the triple. And the Grizzlies lead by seven. A crafty lefty with tons of range. You can't take your eyes off Luke Kennard defensively. Here's Hendricks, defended by Jackson. Fades away. Grizzlies with the rebound. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Kennard outside. Pass to Jackson. On the wing, Conchar. Pulls it from the top of the key. Perfect. Right between the eyes on that one. And now a nine-point Memphis lead. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. And there's the foul. It'll go on Derek Rose. That's his third foul of the game. To the wing on the left. Pass to Horton Tucker. To the inside. And that one's good. Olenek. Taylor Horton Tucker doing a nice job of finding his teammates. They are loving it. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Oh, it's stolen away. Here's Abaji. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A powerhouse move! He's got a chance for one more at the line. That one's on Rose. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Smart's checked in. Kessler, he's checked in for Utah. The Grizzlies have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Tillman with a screen. Smart for three. Second chance effort. Kessler with a rebound. Kessler's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Smart looking around. Pulls it. Here's Tillman. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Yeah, just picking apart the defense. Smart moves things around to create a shot. Horton Tucker with it. Guarded now by Smart. Horton Tucker can't hit. For Memphis, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Now here's Smart. He's closely guarded. Pass to Jackson. That's it. Coming off an assist from Smart. Smart's got three assists tonight. You have to account for Jackson Jr. in the corner. I mean, he's an excellent three-point shooter. Here's Horton Tucker. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Memphis has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Jackson, left side. Oh. 
Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Ooh, powered oh, down oh. with both hands. Great recognition. Understanding that that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. Kennard with it. Now Horton Tucker defending. There's Jackson with the three. And again, it's Memphis with a three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. For Utah, they've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Outside Horton Tucker. Pass to Hendricks. Shot that time, not on target. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Here's Tillman. He's covered by Kessler. Here's Tillman. It's smart on the wing. Shot clock at six. Memphis needs to get off a shot. There's Jackson with the three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Smart. Smart's got four assists in the game. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. Here's Markkinen. It's Markkinen scoring inside. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. Now here's Smart, defended by Horton Tucker. Smart outside. Pass to Tillman. Tries it from 16. Good D by Kessler. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Abaji, the pass to Horton Tucker. Now here's Kessler and Smart over to help. And we're going to have a jump ball. Back to Horton Tucker. Just five to shoot. Top of the key. Grizzlies with the rebound. Now here's Smart. Pass to Jackson. And it's going to be a three-second call. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Steven Adams checked in for Tillman. Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Bain, he's checked in for Conchar. And it's Ja Morant in for Kennard. The Jazz have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Sexton against Morant. Pass to Collins. Now here's Markkinen, guarded by Bain. Forcing the issue, Markkinen. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Timeout call, Memphis.
Jenkins here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. He implored his team to use the clock. He said the clock is our friend. No need to rush things unless they give us a free one. Let's squeeze them out of this game. Back to you, Brian. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Clarkson passes to Collins. Marketin with it. From the top of the key. And it's Bain with the rebound. Bain's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Morant. Oh, a determined bucket from Morant. Not one to shy away from physicality. John Morant just goes about his business. Outside Sexton. Oh, the swap by Adams. Clark against Collins. Adams, the pass to Morant. Adams with a screen on Sexton. Here's Morant. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Kessler. At the line for your Grizzlies. And he can't get the first one. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. And he's good on the second. Now Sexton. Clarkson outside. Lots of room. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Adams has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Laurie Marketin. And the first one at the line is good. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Grant? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before. And these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. Smart against Clarkson. Collins with a screen on Smart. Clarkson for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jackson's got rebound number seven tonight. Outside Morant. Oh, sweet move. And they get it back. Out to the right wing. Another shot. Back to Payne. Outside Morant. Goes up again. And is blocked. They retain possession. Payne, the pass to Jackson. Shoots over Collins. Here's Adams. Outside for Morant. Connects from downtown. Morant's got 45 points. Ooh, heat check after heat check. He rises to the occasion, trying to wheel his team to victory. And Utah calls time here. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Ja Morant. Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. Hey, these fans love him so much. And when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Sexton against Moran to stop the run. And that one's good. Collins Sexton for three. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Sexton against Moran. Jackson with a screen on Sexton. Moran. Adams inside. Checked by Sexton. Ooh, and Adams strong finish. You just can't let Adams get this deep in the paint. Because when he does, he's focused on slamming it down. Pass to Marketin. Takes it inside. Outside Sexton. Crafty move. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. It's never easy trying to stop Sexton. I love watching him bounce off the defense and finish in style. 
Morant against Clarkson. Morant, the pass to Smart. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Adams. Comes up empty down low. Utah's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Clarkson finds Sexton. Back to Clarkson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, Jordan Clarkson has had many different roles in his career, Smitty. All with the same outcome. VA, it doesn't matter what jersey Clarkson has on or what role he has. The dude is going to score. Simple as that. Most people think of him as just a shooter. Jordan Clarkson is a very dynamic player. There's so much more he provides for you out there on the floor. Minute 32 left in the game. And the Grizzlies shooting at even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Kicks it out to Jackson from deep. Kessler with a rebound. And for the Jazz, they're shooting a solid 47%. And another miss by Utah. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged culture. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Six on the shot clock. Collins against Moran. From deep, Bay. Good. And the set up by Moran. And the Grizzlies lead by 17. <laughs> this has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. And Markkinen with the stuff. Since day one, there was never any doubt that Markkinen could score. But we didn't know he'd be this prolific. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Moran. There's the drive. Kicks it out to Smart. The three is up. Can't hit that one. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. He has led this team in rebounding and also taken on the role of enforcer. Clarkson with the ball. And so it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor. But is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active. Just being able to move my feet. Being able to stay low on defense, you know, all those things keep you engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working with everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Darren. Congrats on your success. Thanks, Alec. Great interview once again. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Ja Moran. Thank <laughs> you.